Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, in this episode, I show you how to set up a website for your photography. Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, and welcome to episode 69 of my photography, lightroom and photoshop tips. Mon nom est Serge Ramelli, je suis un photographe français who lives in Paris and I'm very happy to be here. I'm still traveling through the US and um, I want to show you in this video how you can make a simple website using squarespace.com. There is different offers that I've tried, SmugMug, 500px and Squarespace and I love what Squarespace has to say when it comes to making a portfolio. Uh, it took me a few minutes to make my website and um, I think it's a very good solution for photographer to have a portfolio out there which looks very professional. So let me show you how you can make this in a few minutes and how I made mine. Okay guys, two things real quick before we start. Uh, I still have a minus 30% on my entire website for any training until the end of October, as you can see here. And I just released the heart of black and white with Lightroom. This is something that a lot of people has been asking me is how to do artistic black and white with Lightroom. It's a course that just came out. If you click on the more info, you can see all the before and after projects. Oop, this one is not, uh, I have to refresh the page. Something that happens. Okay, and you can see all the before and after. It's a pretty cool course. A lot of stuff. I also show you how to use SilverFX Pro from Google, which is amazing. And uh, yeah, how to do this type of uh, black and white photography. So please do check it out. Uh, it helps support this podcast. Okay, now I want to talk to you about something I've been... Uh, wanting to for quite some time and that is creating your own website. I get a lot of email of people asking me, you know, what's the best solution to create a website as a photographer. And um, I have tried many two solutions so far. One has been WordPress with trying to find some, some good templates and it's been pretty cool, but it, it takes a lot of, uh, uh, you know, a lot of computer knowledge really uh, to really get it the way you want to look at. And uh, honestly, I did not find amazing, amazing templates. The second solution I then tried was 500px awesome version, uh, awesome status, which is pretty cool. The only thing I don't like about 500px is that you cannot create blogs, you cannot create pages, uh, you know, like you want. And I just don't want just a portfolio. I also want to be able to blog. I also want to be able to maybe sell some photos or sell some tutorials or sell some prints, you know. So I was looking for a solution like this and I came across Squarespace and I contacted them and... Um, and they are doing an amazing job. I was so surprised by this technology. And in very little time, I was able to make this website, which I'm gonna show you now. It's called sergeramelyphoto.com. And uh, they registered the domain name for me, which is pretty cool. And, uh, and this is the website, like all the photos are full screen. If I go and click anywhere on the screen, on the right is taking me to the next photo. If I click anywhere on the left, it's gonna take me to the photo before. I love that. So here is all my um, galleries. So you've got Paris, landscapes, everything is full screen. This is something that I really like. And uh, so I've got then Venice portraits, interior, and I just created a contact page. And uh, I'll show you how to create an about me page, which is missing there. But I also have a, an about page. I'll show you that in a second. And I did this literally in two, three hours. I mean, if you got the photos ready, uh, when I, maybe in an hour, I had most of it done. It's really fast. And you can really tailor-made it to your own taste and add blogs and shops. I mean, it's this technology is mind-blowing. And it costs only $8 per month. I used to pay $8 per month just to host my WordPress website and to have my domain name. For that price, you get the hosting of your website and you get a domain name. Like they, they I registered searchremedyphotos.com. That's another thing I didn't like so much about 500px is that I had to take the domain name somewhere else and then do like a very complex DNS redirection toward my site. With Squarespace, it's all included. So let me show you how it starts. Uh, let's just go to squarespace.com, squarespace.com. Uh, and uh, create your own space, get started, okay? Now it says you have to do three steps. One is to select a template, which you can switch anytime. Then you have to start a free trial. They have a 15 days trial if you want. And I'll give, give you an additional 10% if you follow a link at the end of this video. And get a free domain. That, and that's really amazing because I was, the one thing that was missing with 500px was the ability to just, you know, don't have, you know, your website called like Ramily Search dot. Uh, you know, uh, 500px or squarespace.com. 
my website is called surgeryremediesphotos.com and they registered the domain name for me and it took five minutes for the site to be online. I mean, this is mind blowing. I never saw something so fast. So anyway, so first thing is to select a template. Um, I think now the thing is I've already done that. So I'm going to go uh, once you've selected a template and you, you know, you, you've done, uh, you've selected your free trial and you've tried your domain name, you're going to come to this space, which is a configuration space. All right. Now, right now, uh, my whole website is f more or less finished and done with this momentum template. This is what you saw here. The, um, where did I go? Uh, let me show it to you again. SergeRemiliesPhoto.com. This is uh, done with that template, which is fine. But I'm going to show you um, how to create a website from scratch uh, with a different template. The first thing you need to do, that's how I did it, is to create your photo galleries because I know most of you are photographers or designer. So I'm talking to you in that sense. So for this, uh, all you need to do is go to this little A here. And uh, I've already created like different galleries like Paris, Landscape, Venice. Let me show you how you create a gallery. It's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is click on uh, add a page, gallery. Okay, I'm gonna call this one uh, portfolio because uh, this is actually my like sort of best photo. Uh, it's my best of like of if genre. Okay, now you have the possibility to set this as a home page. I'm not going to do that because I did that with the Paris gallery. I'll show you that later. But the whole idea is that first you have to prepare your galleries, you know, a landscape, urban uh, landscape, uh, portraits, whatever. You know, create four or five galleries, have them ready on a hard disk, just like I have, I'm doing this. So I'm creating a gallery. I'm going to save the name. And then it says add items. Well, all I'm going to do is click here. I'm going to go onto my external hard drive, which is here. And I have... Um, something here called iDevice, okay? And I have something here called ePortfolio, okay? I'm gonna take the, all these photos, uh, you know, uh, Command A to select everything, and boom, here I am. So I'm loading all the photos in the portfolio, and uh, it's, it, you know, it depends on your uh, internet connection, so I'm gonna Put on hold it's going to take probably a minute i'm not going to get you to wait that long until it's loaded but it's really fast it's uh, it's really really fast okay, so all the photos are loaded now a, f a couple of concepts which is really interesting in a gallery is uh you have the um the first photo which is going to be on here is going to be the, the the main photo representing the gallery so for example i want this one to be the first photo and then you see on each photo you've got a little circle that's what they call the point of interest uh, for example, on, on, on Arthur here on this photo, I'm going to take it, I'm going to put it on his face here, for example. Anyways, and let's say that you want to delete some photo in the gallery where you just press the control key, you know, select whatever you want to delete. You know, uh, I'm not going to do that, but here it says, boom, delete, you know, you can uh, sort of move them around if you need to uh, in the exact order that you want. The first one is going to be the head ones. And uh, voila, that's the whole idea. First, before you choose a template, before we get into the navigation of the website, just create all your galleries. So this is what I did. This is one which is called Portfolio. Uh, it's here, and then I have another one which is my interior design shots. Uh, then I have another one which is my portraits that I created just showing exactly that way. I just moved them around, made sure that the first one was someone that something that I liked. And uh, Venice and landscape. So I created basically, you know, like five galleries. Okay, now that I've got all the galleries created, uh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna re-choose another template so that you can see how you can start it from scratch. So for this, I'm gonna go to this little logo, which is like a, a setting logo, and I'm gonna create an install template, okay? And uh, now they have, and you should know that all the templates can be totally customized. So it's like a starting point, you know? It's not like everybody's website is gonna look like everybody's website because you can totally change the colors, the font. You can really do a lot with it. It's like, it's a good starting point. But boy, all the templates are really amazing. They're responsive design. I'll show you that in a second. And I just love it. It's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go for um, this one. Ishimoto. I'm gonna take the Ishimoto template. So I click on View Ishimoto. So I can see what it looks like as a live preview. If I click on the live preview, I can see what the template looks like, which is cool. Uh, I can just, okay, click this to stop that. I can see how it's gonna look like on an iPhone, 
So the mobile view I can see there, uh, which is pretty cool. I can even see people who actually use that template and I can check out their website to see how, you know, how they use that template, you know. Pretty interesting stuff, pretty inspiring. Okay, so I'm just gonna click here on install template. I'm installing that template. And uh, now, before it becomes my main template, I have to first click on preview. Okay, uh, then it just says it's gonna give me example photos, blah, 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 so that's the preview. Then I'm gonna press the escape key. That's gonna bring me back in the setting page. And now, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I have to go back to settings, settings, templates. I shouldn't have pressed escape. Anyways, it would have been faster to just go back. I went back to settings and now that I've previewed it, I can set it as a live template. So are you sure you want to make this your live template? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, so now this is my main template and I need to do some work before it looks like something. So basically I go back to this little A thing, which is where you decide how your website is going to go. So for now, this is the home page of the website. I don't want that. What I want to be the home page of the website is the, um, the portfolio page that we created. That portfolio page, I want this to be the home page of my website. So for this, I just, you see, it's here. All my albums that I created are not linked to anything. They are not live. So first I need to decide which one of this album is going to be my home page. So I just click on this, set as home page, confirm. Okay, and save. All right, so now you see I have this little symbol. It means it's my home page. So I'm going to put it in main navigation. Then I'm just going to take all the other album I created. So I'm going to get landscape to be uh, the second one. Or oh, actually, no, Paris. Portfolio first, Paris. S second, third, landscape. Fourth, uh, portrait. Last, interior. Uh, last, interior. Okay, lifestyle travel. That's an example they are giving me. I don't want that. So I just press the X key and I delete it. The about page, I'm going to keep it. The blog, I'm going to delete it because I already have a blog. And, uh, oh, I forgot Venice. Venice, I'm going to put into uh, between landscape and interior and latest. That is an example page of them. I can tell because it's small caps. So I'm going to delete that. Okay, so now I have all my galleries which are there. You know, this one being the home page. And if you want to see what the final thing looks like, well, just click on the eyes here. So now I'm on the eye. And here is my new website. Uh, I already had put in my logo and, uh, and my title. So it's a different view than, uh, you know, from um, the one we saw before, but it's pretty cool. You know, it's, uh, I could have used that as a template. Actually, I was hesitating between the full screen template and this template, you know, which is pretty cool. All right, now, voila, it has to load a little bit. And so now I can go to the next page. Now, if I go to the about page, you will see the about page is like not me. So I have to change that. So I'm going to show you how you can create a page, which is pretty cool. So now, once you're in preview mode, all you have to do is press the escape key and it's going to get you back on the page you were on, which is the about page. Now, you, uh, the about page, I'm going to click on make a page like this one. Okay. And um, so now I'm just going to edit it. First, I'm going to call it about. I'm going to put it in caps because that's how my menus are. So I'm going to save that. Now, that photo... Uh, I don't want this photo, so I'm gonna remove it. I just double clicked on it and click on remove, okay? And uh, I'm gonna write Serge Remedy, you know, uh, and uh, whatever I want. Hello, you know, this is my new website. You know, I wouldn't put that, but I'm not gonna get you too long. And now let's say, uh, uh, so you see here, it, it works by block. You know, that's how you make a page. Uh, so this, there is a, a text block. I want to add a photo in that text block. So all I have to do is click on add block image. Okay. And um, I'm going to click here. Then I'm going to go to my portraits and I have an image of me that I want to put in there, which is this one. Okay. Save. Now the image is way too big. So I'm going to make it much smaller with this little, thing here and I can even choose how to put uh, the text if I want the text to be yeah how I want the, the the photo to be now I want it to be smaller but something like that this is my website okay save and published so this is how you create uh, how I created the about page if you want to see how it looks like you just click on this and there is your, the website uh, portfolio Paris landscape Venice 
you know, uh, I really love uh, this this thing. Now, if I wanted to change the, uh, you know, let's say I want to change the colors or anything, I can go to this brushing while I'm looking at this. Uh, and this is the style mode. And there I can change everything. I'm not going to show you every option, but let's say I want to change the, the background website and make it red, which would be really ugly. But why not? You know, I could do that. Or, you know, just make it uh, sort of a light gray whatever, you know, maybe a light gray could work. Anyways, you can, I would take the logo out and everything. I mean, there's a lot more to, to, to be known, but this just, is just a little introduction how you could make the, the website. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna reset this, confirm, I'm gonna cancel this, okay, go out of style mode, and this, this guard, I don't wanna change the, whatever I'm doing. Press the escape key, so I'm going back on the config, and uh, I just wanna go back to the first template that I did, you know, not because I spent quite some time using it, so that's fine. I can just go in configuration mode, templates, and this is the first template, and I'm gonna click on preview. Okay, and then um, press escape again. Now that I've previewed it, I will have the option, uh, well, sorry, I have to go back on the template, which is here. I have the option as set as a live template, confirm, and now my website should look uh, like it originally looked when I, when I worked on it the first time, which is, yeah, full screen, everything. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I just lost, for some reason, I had an about page that I lost, but that's fine. Oh, which is here. It's in a not link, so I'm just gonna add it in link here. This is my about page, and I think it, this is my, uh, yeah. Oh, because I changed the about page, so it took the one I already did. But anyways, um, that's the idea. So, and the great thing about Squarespace is you can add a shop if you wanna sell things. Now, this is way out of this tutorial. This was just a little introduction to show you how fast, I mean, literally, it took me one hour to make my website. I mean, it was already fast with 500px, but believe me, uh, it was it's, it's much faster uh, with Squarespace. So anyways, we have this special code, which uh, is called Surge. If you go to this link and use the code Surge, you will get 10% off your Squarespace. Uh, so also a couple of other things which is lovely about them is that they have a 24 seven support. Uh, you can just ask them for anything, you know, and they just, yeah, they, they, they answer pretty fast. So you get a domain name, as I said, and uh, the whole thing is, oh yeah, I didn't show that to you, but it's responsive design. Meaning, you know, as I make my website big or small, uh, it just, you know, it just restructure everything. I love that. That means that if you watch this website on an iPad, on an iPhone, it just looks amazing. So that's really cool. And the other thing is that they have this amazing iPhone app or iPad app where you can, you know, uh, upload photos, blog posts, you can run your whole website from your iPhone or your iPad. So that's something pretty cool. So check them out. I mean, honestly, you know, I spent months doing a WordPress website and I would have known uh, Squarespace, I would have never done that. I mean, it's just for $8 per month, I see it's, a, it's really a, a good, good, good deal. So what I hope you check them out because they're really worth it and uh, I should have really done it earlier. Thank you very much and let's get back to the studio. Okay guys, I hope you like that tutorial and uh, you can uh, try for yourself. I think it's uh, really a good way. I remember years ago, it took me so much time to make a so-so portfolio using WordPress and now you have this website like Squarespace where you can really make professional stuff in no time. I really think it's uh, quite a blessing. Thank you very much for being there and I'll see you next week.